Yu-Gi-Oh! is a constantly evolving game. We began with cracking packs and building with what we had, though in recent years, singles have become significantly more accessible and changed the way we build decks. However, Mario and I, we are going back to the basics. Each week, 1v1 sealed only. We are allotting ourselves $60 Canadian each episode and singles are forbidden. The goal is to be the first to win 25 matches and whoever does so will receive a full case from their opponent. $1,000 of product is on the line. You're watching Sealed Only 1v1. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sealed Only 1v1. Last week, we returned. We took the win. We got back-to-back -back victories. And this week, we're going for the three-peat. We're going for the hat trick. We're going to attempt to do so by opening the 2020 Megatons, as again, Dragoon is essentially just the best card in the game. However, admittedly, my hopes aren't high. We've <laughs> pulled literally nothing for the last three weeks in a row, and that's $180 worth this week. It'll bring us up to $240. Will we, will we pull a single playable card with that much money? I don't know, but we're going to try. So let's jump into it and have some fun. Starting off with a Mord Schlag, we have a Prominence, a Mardark, Gladiator Beast, love to see it. We have a Neospace Connector, Marinsis Current, shout out to Coder. We have our sixth Sign Up Mining, Dragon Energy Knight Romulus. Okay, shout out to Mario, my favorite Dragon Link player. We have a Marinsis yet again, and sure, Zeal. Uh, okay, mm hmm. Not, not great. Starting off with a Tenny Spirit Mapura, I believe. We have a Subterror Succession, a Trick Star Fusion, still not convinced they're real. We have a Dark Factory of More production. We have Valkyrie Chariot, a Doom Eagle, actually, pretty decent card. We have a Test Panther, shout out to Glads every single episode. You gotta love to see it. We have Barlowed X Charge Dragon. Every time I see the X, I get transported back to like 2007, 2008 where it's like gamer tags, XX, edgy word, XX. I love it, I miss it. Uh, we have Gizmek Yada, not a good card. And for what we're actually looking for, next is an ultra, is it Dragoon? It is not, it is a win. Followed, what is it gonna be? Oh, 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 yeah, let's go, let's go, oh. Oh, I don't have to open this awful set anymore. Oh, man. That's fantastic. That is so good. <laughs> yes. Well, we finally have it. It took three weeks of pulling nothing. $210 as well as a lot of hopium, but we finally made it happen. We aren't going to be able to play it this week because I don't have enough left in my budget to pick up the final product we need for the Red Eyes Black Dragon and the Red Eyes Fusion. And we no longer need to open the other Megaton. So instead, I think we're going to be opening a Sirenetic Horizon. I still don't have the third hers. It's a great staple. So we'll jump into that and we'll also open the final Mega Pack. So now that we have Dragoon, there really isn't much we're looking for, but if we switch to Cyber Traps, Crackdown could be cool and it would be right here. It is not here. Okay, doesn't matter. Got Dragoon, very happy. That said, we now have six packs of Cybernetic Horizon. The goal here is to get hers. That is not a hers, that is a Dragoonity. We have a Crusadia Draco, a World Legacy Memory, Shield Handler, Noble Knight, Pelinor. That could have gone better. Oh, but hey, look, also a Fear. That's pretty cool. Starting off with Crusadia Vanguard, a Zero Extra Link, a Dragoonity, Cosmo Brain, Sky Striker, Ace Hayate. I remember playing Ace that deck for the very first time. Thought it was really cool. It's having a lot of fun. And then, they flip Tikaboo. And that's where everything changed. Three packs left. Can we pull the third and final Cyber Dragon Herd? 
We have a Psychic Ace, a Breaking of the World, and Arborea, a ooh, Secret Rare First Edition Mech Knight of the Morning Star. I've never actually played Mech Knights simply because I am not a big fan of Invoked and I feel like generally they go together. But pulling a secret, always fun. We have a White Stingray and obviously no hers in the comments. We have a Dragoonity Legion, a Crusadia Orborea, a Mini Boral Dragon, a Restoration Point Guard, a Mana Dragon, Zier Nitron. I have no idea if that's correct, but what I do know is it's not hers. One pack left. Here we go. Can we make it the most insane week yet? Let's find out. Here we have Beast Magic Attack, Mini Boral Dragon, Crusadia Power, Realm of Danger. I've actually never seen this card before. Um, it's an ultra. It's not the right ultra, but that's fine. We we got what we really wanted this week. The hers would have been um, just a bonus. As an update, I'm still a very happy man. While we can't play Dragoon this week, I don't think we need it. We were still going to take the last two episodes without it. At this point, I, I really feel like it's just insurance on a deck that's really coming together. And with that, we are going to go in with the exact same list that we played last week because it is yet to fail us. It's working really, really well. And with that, let's throw it on over to Mario, see what he's up to. Hopefully, the, the hole in his house is is fixed well it's been no shock to all but the last few weeks have been a complete disaster of sealed only in mario land haven't pulled anything haven't won anything it's been a giant complete <laughs> and we're gonna go open up some soul fusion special editions because we really just want one more thunder dragon dark and a thunder dragon hawk a titan would be nice and a levian era would be really good We'll start off today with a Fox and a Gave Dragon, Dino Wrestler Capitera, a Condemned Witch Seeker Rare. Oh, this is, this search for Vin Droplets. <laughs> Good thing I have one of those, right? <laughs> Starting with another Salmon Great card, the Jaguar, Bear Blocker, Dino Wrestler King, Invincibility Barrier, and a Necro Valley Throne. Great for all those Gravekeeper cards we play in the deck. Yep. Shout out to Floodgates. Floodgates. We got some guy throwing on Gakapul. All right. We got Salangrit Emerald Eagle, World Wand, and a Vector Blast for all those Sky Striker cards we play. Oh, Harpoor. If this randomly goes to one while the series is still going. <laughs> Orcus Lightsworn, baby. Let's go. Well, three packs in, and that was crap. Let's try the other three packs. Can't be worse, right? Compium? All right, more insect baseball. Uh, a Nordic Alpher Alvis. Edge Imp Cotton Eater. Danger Mothman. I feel like I keep pulling this card and I keep ignoring it. Oh well, ignore it some more. Protection for our Verte, if we ever, ever get one. LOL. World Dino Wrestling until noble arms are needed once again. Thunder Dragon Duo. This is, uh, this, it's cool, but we have one already. Like, we need other Thunder Dragons. And Galaxy Brave, a truly brave soul. Crusadia Crawler, Orchestrated Attack, until Noble Arms are needed once again. Oh, that's a gross card. It's a Halder. Uh. So, you remember last week when we ended Tomb Chaos off with the Fluffle face? Instead, we get Fluffle Fuck. And all leave it in the comments if you think the fluffle fuck was better than this opening, or if I just got <laughs> let me know in the comments. Starting off our gold adventure with an extra foolish burial. C101, Silent Honor Dark. Artifact Lancia. Well, this is like a floodgate hand trap. I guess we can't play that, but that's really cool. Cyber Dragon, oh god. Oh. Huh. Great. Uh, Synchron Carrier. Uh, Phantasme. I, this is like my fourth or fifth one. <laughs> Great. Uh, and uh, C107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Okay. Well, all right. Cool. So do you, do you truly feel that gold is like max rare? Top five. 
I would put gold rares above collector rares. True. <laughs> True. Great. Alrighty, Union Scramble. Gold Rare Tour Guide. Hey, Farfa! I'm gonna add this to my wall, I think. Just for you, buddy. Uh, we got Fire Formation Gyoku. Transcode Talker. Alright. Super Poly. We already have one, but that's cool. Uh, terraforming. And Trap Tricks Mermelio. Okay. Well, nothing usable, but that's good. We got Jurassic World, Union Hanger, Nurse Dragon Maid, completely useless, but that's a hit. Temple of the Six, Medolce Chateau, Laundry Dragon. Oh yeah, okay. Let's just play Dragon Maids, sure. And and that. Okay. So we got these two Dragon Maid cards. Uh, shout out to Milano. We we love you. Our final chance at a Levineer here. We got a Floodgate. We have Pleiades. I think Ryan's looking for this card. Uh, to level 5, Lights? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. Uh, another Floodgate. Cool. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Man, we're uh, <laughs> two fifths of the way to Dragoon. Lol. Uh, a Lady Debug. And Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. But no Chaos Dragon living here. Sag. Okay, well, with that out of the way, we actually pulled nothing to put in our decks, so no changes once again. And let's just go to the shop. We cannot get 3 0'd. This is a fight to the death. I will mill every single last part until I destroy him. Before we get started here, now I know you like your fancy calculator, your little cool sound effects, and your flashy <laughs> old stuff and things. I do. But we're going old school today. This bad boy has a TI-34. <laughs> okay. It came way before the TI-84. Oh, so it's like, it's the original rarity. Yeah, it's the original release. So why are people playing the 84? Because they're scrubs. Roll. Here we go. 10. 10. Oh. You want to fight me this soon? <laughs> I go again. Five. Nine. You get the pleasure of going first. Fine. Good luck. Well, we're gonna kick things off with Charge of the Light Brigade. Cool. Milling Sword. Good. But it's not good. You were saying? I already lost. I already lost. Mmm, this is very interesting. I feel like Charge Gamma is like legitimately the best combo in our game. Charge is gonna search me Lumina. Good card. Next. I normal summon Lumina. You got it. Activate effect targeting Raiden. Mm hmm. Raiden effect to mill two. Black Dragon Wolf. Wolf. Oh, you've got a full board. Not bad, eh? Uh, summon that wolf just like that. We are going to Link Summon into Hauki Boy. You got it. We are going to summon Plague Spreader Zombie. Next, we're going to Synchro Summon. Level 8. Omega? Omega. Best card in your extra deck. And we're going to activate the effect. That one. You got it. And next, we're going to activate Ragged Gloves next. Are we overlaying the Banished Piles? <laughs> oh, I, I guess we are. We're going to dump Silent Boots and activate Silent Boots to search Fog Blade. This is so poggers, and I got my Pog Blade to back it up. We get it, you Twitch stream. I do? Yeah, over on Mario... What is it? Ma Twitch.tv slash Mario Gaming World. Twitch.tv slash Mario's Gaming World. <laughs> We're gonna set two cards face down and end phase mill three with Lumina. Activate Felice. You got it. Go ahead. I think I need a good card. Not, not a good card. Well, I think we have to bait out the how. So, special. Uh, let's do it. Hauk effect. Desert Locust. Desert Locust. Your hand rift deck. I'm a little envious, admittedly. Two rips, not bad, eh? But you get to choose what you discard, so have fun. Discarding repair plant. Sure. Okay, now we proceed with emergency. That's good. Searching Cyber Dragon Core. It's like the core of your deck. Ah! Now, normal summon, Cyber Dragon Core. Sure. Effect. Well, we know we have to fog blade it. Fog blade. As expected, but unfortunate. We will conduct a link summon for Cyber Dragon Seeker. 
Very good. Heart activate, overload fusion, final card in hand. Oh, good. Banishing, Sidra and Core, special summoning, Rampage. Sure. Effect to pop back row. I will impermit. Can't do much, but we can get over the more important part of your board. Unfortunate. Rampage into Lumina. I'll take 11. You feel cool? I do feel rad. Next, we'll swing in with Seeger to the Archer, so that you can't pop next turn. Sure thing. Seeger answers the Omega. You have to have something else. Go ahead. Draw. Standby phase. Omega return. Yeah, we'll collect our pile. We're gonna activate Chaos Space, discarding Wolf. It's a good top deck. Yeah, I'd say so. We'll get the Chaos Creator. Look at that. Toon Chaos did uh, paid off to some extent. It, yeah, yep. Yep, sure. Yep. Declaring thinking phase. Proceed. I'm gonna special summon the Chaos Creator. Banishing sure. Lumina and Black Dragon. You got it. Uh, Chaos Creator F. Targeting Lumina and Ragged Gloves and Silent Boots. Not gonna give me back any of my Cyber Dragons? Never. We'll put the Phantom Knights to the bottom of the deck and we'll summon Lumina. Next we use Chaos Space, return Black Dragon to the bottom and draw a card. Just keep going. We're gonna do a Link 2 for Tector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Not bad. However, I'm in luck. May look like you're about to OTK me. However, the game has apparently ended in a draw. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> calculator is better than you think, bro. It is, it's saving me like four hours of editing. So like, yeah, I'm team calculator, no doubt. <laughs> I'm gonna use Lumina's effect, discarding Gamma to summon Raiden from Graveyard. Broken. <laughs> yeah, Raiden's good. Raiden the mill too. Trick Clown. And we'll activate Trick Clown while we're at it. You're actually insane. Uh, yep, one sec. What is this game? Minus 1000. Equations. Now I'm gonna Synchro Summon for level seven. It's been a while. Michael the Arc White Sworn. Oh, my old favorite. I'll pay 1000 life points to banish Seeger. Sure. And uh, yep. I'm at 4900. Seeger overlaying Chaos Space. I never thought of that. <laughs> it's probably for the best. And to make things end on a neat tiny bow, we're gonna do a Link 4, and we're gonna make Boral Sword Dragon. Enter the phase of battle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, battle phase is fine. I'll attack, steal half, gain half. Got you it. take 3,000, and I'll swing 23, and swing for game. You got it. Didn't even need Dragon's Effect. Nice flex. Thank you. Almost as good of a flex as the 34. <laughs> Today's my day, baby. I don't care. <laughs>
You're clearly baiting the Pog Blade. You want to let it slide? I'll allow it. Special summoning Sidra, and we'll continue to try to work through that Pog Blade. Machine Duke. Oh, now we have to. Now we have to. Omega is still scary. Set a card. Normal summon. Sure. We'll link Cyber Dragon Hers and Cyber Dragon Nashter into Seeger because we are locked into machines. And are you going to use Hers' as effect? I'm actually not. Okay. I, yet again, hard drew the Overload Fusion, so we'll activate that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Vanishing both of our Cydras, summoning Rampage. That's fine. We'll use Rampage effect. Yep. We didn't previously use the Hers, so we'll send it and the core. Hers, we'll add back core. Sure. Now we'll enter battle. Response with Omega? Unfortunately not, otherwise you just win. Ah, math. Yes. You do get to have some fun with the calculator. Great. <laughs> just what I wanted. <laughs> Seeger boosts Rampage, and Rampage swings into Omega. I'll take 14. You having fun over there? No. Rampage into Locust? Sure. Seeger into Plague? Yep. Sidra indirect? I'll take 2100. And final Rampage hit. I'll take 42. I am at 300 life points. All I need is a Link Erebo. That said, I will settle for main phase two, overlaying into Nova. And normally, use Nova, you bring back the hers, but you have no cards on field and I fear Gamma. So we'll go straight into Infinity. Fine. With that, your move. I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna activate Chaos Space, returning Black Dragon to the bottom of the deck to draw a card. Love the combo. Got an extra draw thanks to that. <laughs> I'm going to Normal Summon Raiden. Effect to mill two. You don't have much engrave, and you play a lot of bricks. So, we'll negate, and we'll see what you can do. All right, we are gonna special summon the Chaos Creator. Banishing Plague and Felice. Really hoping you didn't have that one. I'll use Chaos Creator's effect, targeting Plague, Felice, and Halk. And Halk, okay. Pretty cool. Felice gets special summoned. Yes, Felice effect. Next. I'm gonna sacrifice it to destroy this and mill three. It's a good play. Not bad for me. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will go ahead. 300 damage, that's all we need. That's all we need. Start with Cyber Repair Plant. Oh, he even drew that. Yeah, it's fine. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Adding Cyber Dragon Nashter because I still don't have a third hers. Reveal Nashter? Sure. Discard Galaxy Soldier? Sure. Special effect. That's fine. Bring back Nova? Sure. And we'll overlay for infinity number two. Now we'll normal summon Cyber Dragon Core. Yep. Add Cyberload Fusion. Just going for extra damage, are you? Oh, we're just having fun. Oh, okay. We'll use these two for our big boy fortress, and we we'll use Infinity to take the Chaos Creator. Now, I know you have the trap in the graveyard, but we have the negate, so yes. we'll go to battle. Okay. Infinity for game? You got it. Okay, game three. If this would have milled me some good stuff, uh -huh. The game could have continued. Oh, I know. <laughs> Always terrified of your mouse. Always. Uh. All right, you're going first this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Yasin, you always warn me. Machine do. It can be bricky. It can be unfortunate. You were right. <laughs> I, uh... I don't think I can play. That good, huh? Oh, that good. Go ahead. Draw. I'm going to normal summon Phantom Knight's Ragged Gloves. Summon's fine. I'm going to special summon Silent Boots. We're going to overlay into Farfa's favorite card. Ooh, Dante? Dante. Best Light Sworn monster. We're going to use the effect and we're going to mill three. What do we hit? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I see where all the luck ended up this game. I'm gonna summon that wolf. We're gonna enter battle phase. Swing for 21. I'll allow it. Swing for 25. Yeah. 
I'm going to minus you your life points. You're at 34. Uh, we're going to activate Silent Boots and Grave, main phase two. We're going to search uh, Pog Blade once again. And just in case you did draw an imperm in your wonderful brick house, <laughs> we are going to set the Pog Blade right over here. Go ahead. Please be a playable Cyber Dragon. Please be a small playable Cyber Dragon. It looks like a Cyber Dragon. Oh, now you drew an imperm. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Special summon Cyber Dragon out of desperation. Battle phase. Okay. Swing into Wolf. Sure. Main phase two. Yep. Activate Repair Plant. Oh, that's good. Adding Cyber Dragon Core from deck to hand, which we will proceed to normal summon. Would you like to Pog Blade? I guess I have to. I don't. I don't have a lot of option. I'm gonna machine do. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Sure. Grab a couple extra. Cyber Dragon Cores. All right. And number three. And this is where you make Seeger pass. Good call. Yeah, we will. Leak away. And do not much else. Summon Cyber Dragon Seeger. Also, the Continuous Repair Plant, now going to the graveyard. Set a single card, pass okay. back. Draw. Standby main phase. Effective Dante milling three. Not bad. We are going to use Pog Blade in the Graveyard to summon Ragged Gloves. Okay. We're going to special summon Silent Boots in our hand. We're going to overlay for the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. On summon, so you don't get the 1000 or the pop, we are going to hit it with the Imperm. I am going to attempt to use the effect regardless, detaching target target. Oh no, nothing happens. Oh no. Activate Ragged Gloves effect to dump a Phantom Knight card. We are going to dump the Phantom Knight Sword. Oh, the Monster Reborn. Yeah. Speaking of Monster Reborn, we are going to activate it right now. Oh, you got the classic. All right. We're going to summon Sideframe Gear Gamma. Interesting. Next, we're going to normal summon Quillbolt Hedgehog. <laughs> One second. Like, look at the board. What is the stack? What are you playing? Uh, it well, looks like Phantom Knights. <laughs> well, I'm losing to it, so proceed. Okay. We are going to Link Summon Halka Fibrax. Noodle fiber. Yeah. Noodle fiber. Just in case you have some kind of follow up that I cannot foresee at all, we're going to summon Plague Spreader Zombie. Because I control a tuner, I'm going to special summon Quilled Hedgehog from the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. We are going to link for Boral Sword. Boral Sword. Wow. We're going to switch this to attack mode. Okay. And enter the battle phase. Battle phase, I. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use Boral Sword declaring attack on Seeger. Activate effect to attempt to steal half to gain half. And if I use Seeger's effect, then Boral Sword will just steal more and I'll just take more damage. That's right. So I I guess we'll keep it at 21. Sure, you lose 1050, you'll gain 1050. Odd math, but you are the calculator man. Sure, so you take 3000. It's very important that I get this. I love you having your calculator moments. You are 5,000. Uh, Dante will attack Core. That's 25. Gets over. Okay. Quilled Hedgehog will attack directly for 800. <laughs> sure. Uh, we are going to activate Phantom Knight's Sword in the Graveyard. Right. Summon back Break Sword. <sighs> Swing for 2,000. You're at 2,200. Boral Sword effect. Switch Quilled to defense. <laughs> Swing for game. Good game. Good game. You got it. <laughs> I wasn't doing much oh. better, but you did much worse. No, I feel like those plays, like, even when I lose, it's still a lot of fun. Like, just seeing all of that unfold, genuine pleasure. Was definitely playing Phantom Knights with <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you still played the best Light Sworn. No 3 0. Thank God. Oh, yeah, I didn't get the, I didn't get the 3 beat. Oh, that's okay. The curse continues. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll take it, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. As an update, we are going to 10 wins. Mario is now at nine. If he wins one more, the series is over. I owe him a case. However, we bricked pretty bad. That hasn't happened in a long time. And next week, we get Dragoon. I was already pretty confident with the deck. I think we'll be okay, but I do still need to win, I believe, two more to be in his position. The deck's been doing great over the last five or six weeks, but the initial couple 
wasn't great <laughs> the the structures just weren't there competitively so it's going to be a really crazy next couple of episodes make sure you go ahead and check out mario's channel for his bonus episode on his victory and we will see you next week with a brand new episode sealed only 1v1 it could potentially be the series finale we'll see what happens but make sure you stay up to date by clicking the notification bell by subscribing to the channel and by following me up over on twitter with that we will see you soon check out mario's bonus video and as always peace and love